No guards, huh? I like this place already. Captain, something bit them. Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. Please, clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than 10, 10, 10 thousand bits. They left their own outside to die? Was it that bad? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Oh, before I forget, Anti-Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carbon in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, arson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. Of course, because I didn't... No, it's, 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 get this, this, this. I just gotta put it in. So that's an end to power of 12. And of course, that's... It, it's... We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's... It's it's really not or never. I'm going to... Uh... <coughs> oh! You're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carbon in here, it's just a matter of... Or... If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. 
Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over, regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Crane guy cares more about his research than his own people.
nice to get a little fresh air in your lungs. What was that? Who the... You. Yeah, you. Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is, we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is, they haven't been able to escape, neither. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? What for? Fair point. Here's your key card to my office. Head left from here and downstairs. It's across from the cafeteria. I got a machine that makes pass cards for us. Just don't knock over any paperwork in there. I got a system. Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? Soap or something? I don't know. Years back, they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. Oh, the pay ain't much, but it's never been about the bits. I like Roseway. Processing. Searching. Heads up, boss! Right the My time to shine! I don't think you're getting through! Yeah, that's what we you may. get.
all in one piece? I'm gonna guess that all the nothing in that safe isn't what we were expected to find. You! Oh. oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. You're asking a great deal from me. This research is my only bargaining chip. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research we liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. This lab is a prison, not a place of work. Those men were not scientists. They were indentured laborers. We liberated them. They should be thanking us. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. I prefer freedom fighter, but I will not quibble over semantics. Come on now. Do you want to be dull and boring and servile like everyone else? Or do you want to break some rules? You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Never imagined I'd say this, boss, but... Even a raptodon deserves better.
Wow. We're not going in there, are we? Here I come! Finally. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists. But whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. From the day we are born, we are made to obey. Never question. Never hope. Never dream of anything greater than the lot appointed to us. Corporations expect us to work until the day we die. But they could not give a half-bit shit about our lives. No one asks why anymore. The establishment tells us to live here, work there, eat that, drink this. All our choices are made for us, so we forget we ever had a choice. I am doing this because I can. Because it thrills me. Because I take a deep and profound pleasure from stabbing at the heart of corporate power, no matter how shallow the wound. Damn turncoat! 
We saw everything. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. I gotta believe that all we've done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. I trust that we all end up where we're supposed to be. And all the variables come together in the end. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Picked the wrong Die. damn day. Die. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to... 
Register your Sam. Registering new owner, Captain. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Please avoid damage. Do yourself or... So what'd you think of the game last night? I still can't believe Armstrong ran the field from the Tuesday zone. You see we had a conveyor? Um, yeah. Armstrong's really something. Nearly took a fellow's head clean off with a toss ball stick. Yeah, well, he's a hacker. That's what they do. Rangers don't show a shred of mercy in a Darlings game. Bates got tossed out of the game for excessive sportsmanlike conduct in the third half. <laughs> Serves him right. Yeah. Um, Felix, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what a Tuesday zone is. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this, but waste not, want not, I suppose. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Peaches and cream, if that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Well, ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me.
Hey, boss. If you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. I have an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet? Well, I know Monarch's a moon, but I think it counts anyhow. Rizzo Spectrum Wanda. This is Halcyon News. How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Oh my law, you've done it, you've saved my hide! I can't thank you enough. Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here, sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key so your ship can travel there. Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll be delighted, I'm sure. Where have you been living, Captain? Under a rock? Miss Sophia's got to be the second most important person in the entire colony. Yes, quite. Miss Akanda is just the person to take someone with your particular talents and sterling character under her wing. She can fill you in on all of the board's operations in the colony, really put your talents to use. Best of luck to you and thank you again. Give my regards to the unreliable. Byzantium, the city of snobby elitists and punchable faces. Wow, Byzantium. I guess that'll be pretty crowded. Is it just me, or has it been deader than usual around here? Rizzo's lemon slap. Slap your whole family tonight. So here's the thing about Tossball. Tossball is played from the heart. Okay, I'm with you so far. Play from the heart. Easy. Have either of the assault cruisers... There are other schools of thought. Some say you gotta use your head to play toss ball. Those people have concussions. Oh, gosh. That sounds um, really dangerous. Top. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. 